Nambul's explosive subdivision has discovered various explosives in the Oshana, Ohangwena, Kavango West, Irongo and Thomas regions during an operation in January. Now joining us on the line is Nambul's National Spokesperson, Deputy Commissioner Kauna Shikwambi, to find out more about the operation and the outcomes. Very good afternoon to you, Deputy Commissioner, and thank you so much for making the time. Thank you, Joe. But you sound very faint. Thank you so much. Well, in reference to the operation, was this a special operation prompted by tip-offs or is this an ongoing exercise being conducted by NAMPO? Uh, Theo, one thing I need to make clear here is that within the strike and establishment of the police force, we do have an explosive control division. Mm -hmm. And the demining operation is one of their activities. So I'm speaking of a division that has experts who are trained in terms of how they approach such, how they handle such, how they use it, and how they dispose of. So we, we part of their operation is, of course, then to go on those demining operations. And, of course, as, as, as demands are coming in, um, then the office operations are always embarked upon. So we, one cannot really say it was a tip-off. Because um, most of these uh, operations we see for the explosive division are prompted by, by request. And that has been a norm, especially by companies uh, uh, as well as schools uh, that are prior to construction or prior to any, any, any construction yeah, in that regard. They submit a request to the Office of the Inspector General, so it's, uh, then the IGP can avail the experts to do the demining operation. All right. So the, this the, has been a process that uh, very much encouraged the to so ever embark on construction, especially in the uh, uh, zones, in the areas or regions that are, that are related or with, with, with war. Now, Deputy Commissioner, in this January exercise, the police found various explosives, such as rocket-propelled grenades, motors of high explosives from the former Soviet Union, as well as AK-47 rifles. Now, does the police have any idea where these explosives emanate from? Yeah. Are you with us? Yeah, but I can hardly hear you. So let me just try to speak up a bit louder these specific yes. explosives that were found during the exercise in january in particular has nampel been able to determine exactly where these emanate from obviously they are from pre-independence era um, and the police we only detect this object in most instances as i've alluded earlier during construction processes or when discovered by individuals during, uh, during cultivating time, or when children are found to be playing with such in the, in the fields in those, in those regions I've mentioned. It, it, it's really unfortunate that the Namibian police force does not know where most of these remnants or ordinances are hidden, because they are underground. Until and unless they are discovered and the police is notified, then they the demining operations then take uh, uh, is then embarked upon. Well, lastly, just before we let you go, what kind of security threat does or do these specific explosives uh, specifically then mean for the country? Um, these are dangerous objects. In the past years, we have run a very successful campaign uh, which lingers in uh, most Namibians' mind, the Don't Touch It reported campaign. Mm -hmm. And these this unexploded ordinances really remain uh, a predicament or a concern in Namibia. Uh, of course, one can say that it jeopardizes the inhabitants in those regions, the northern parts of the country. And of course, they are, they are livestock as well. So it's really a concern, and that's why through various platforms we continue to to advocate or to reiterate the, the, the slogan to say don't touch it, report it, and of course uh, encourage members of the public that should they find children or themselves discover this object not to touch it, but rather to report to the nearest police station or, or alert their community leaders who will ultimately alert the police.
So it's a very serious concern. Uh, we don't know when it's going to end mm -hmm. because, as I have said, these objects remain unhidden unless or until uh, any of the of the war troopers will come out to point out where these objects are hidden. Mm -hmm. But all in all, really, they are dangerous, and we, we continue to caution the members of the public not to touch it but to report it. Now you mentioned earlier, Deputy Com Commissioner, that some of these items are found with children playing or whatever the case may be, some also from tip-offs. Now, for those that were found in possessions of people who did not willingly give these up, have there been any arrests on people charged? I'm not too sure whether we have such a record of where we have individuals in, who have discovered uh, uh, unexploded ordinances or remnants and, not, and hesitant to surrender them to the police. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go back to the, to the explosive division to determine such, but as I have said, these are dangerous objects. Nobody knows unless it's those experts who know the lifespan of such and they, it's only them who can dispose it of or use it or handle it. So any member of the public who is keeping such, then they are really risking their own lives mm. as well as the, 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 the surroundings. There. We are encouraging that should such be detected, it must be reported. And none whatsoever should keep it for themselves because what do you use it for? So we are encouraging the public to report. Well, Deputy Commissioner, thank you so much once again for making the time, and we wish you and your team all the best. Thank you, too. Well, there you have it. That was Nampol's National Spokesperson, Deputy Commissioner Kauna Shikwambi, briefing us on the operation which uncovered explosives in various regions around the country.